Hello world, KG4FJC here, and uh, we are a ham radio operator, obviously with the call sign, and this is kind of what all this is about. Um, we've done another video real quickie on uh, making all-star simple, all right, because uh, all-star interfaces can be kind of tricky. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into the connecting your radio, your node radio, to your uh, interface. Because you have to have a cable that goes from the radio to the interface and from the interface to the Raspberry Pi. Okay? You don't have to spend 60 bucks plus on a cable. I know people sell them. They make money. That's great. I'm happy for you if you do. I can't spend 60 bucks on a cable that I can make in, you know, 15 minutes and cost me like three bucks. I just can't do it. So anyway, we've got to get from our radio here. And you'll see on the back that I've added the DB9. I can get in right there. All right, this is the TYT 9000. This is a 220 uh, megahertz radio because that's what we use. Well, that's what I use mostly. And we've got a uh, Raspberry Pi here. This is a Pi 3. So that's easy though because that's just a simple uh, USB cable, USB A to USB B. And the real important part is right here the master's communications. I don't think it's, I think it's kind of blurry, but uh, this is the turn down this other radio. This is the Masters Communications uh, RE35. I love these. They work great. They're freaking bulletproof. They're awesome. Um, but as you can see, it's got a, a little DB9 plug. All right, nothing special. DB9 on the radio, DB9 on that. So, and yeah, if you see me looking over, that's where my monitor's at is over there. So, sorry. Um, but anyway, we've got to make a cable. And all it consists of is five wires. Just five. You've got your transmit audio, your receive audio, your squelch, your PTT, and a ground. That's it. Yeah, I think that's five. So let's take a look, and uh, we're going to look at the uh, what we've got to do here to get the uh, the signals to go from one to the other. Um, what we're looking at here is we're looking at the Masters Communications website for the RE35. Okay, so we've got our main audio or voice output. That would be our transmit. Okay, we've got COS. That is our uh, squelch. That's what tells the uh, the interface that there's a valid signal coming in. Okay, and of course we've got PTT. We need that. We've got oh, if I can get it right, receive audio level or receive audio input. Excuse me. Um, that's where. Uh, um, the audio from your HT that you're talking to your node goes out into the interface. Okay. And of course your ground right down here, whatever that's, you know, you got to have your grounds and uh, yeah, I forgot to say this one up here. That's your transmit audio. Um, that is what will be transmitted out of your uh, node radio. Okay. So those are the pins on the RE35. Now, if we'll take another look here. Where is it? This one here. Okay. This is an Alenco. I wire all of our TYTs the same as an Alenco because we can swap them around. Um, we burn up one, we use another. Whatever, no big deal. Okay, so here we've got our squelch. All right. You do not want the 9600 baud. All right. That is uh, all deeper than this conversation. For what we want... We just want the 1200 baud. So reception, packet reception right here, 1200 baud. That's our receive audio, our ground. I think I said our squelch. Um, we've got our PTT and packet transmission, 1200. That's our TX. So we need to connect pin to pin. And what it looks like when you're going to do it is it looks something like this. All right, from the Alenco. You've got your squelch, your COS. That one goes to pin number three on the RE35. The DB9s are numbered. At least most of them are. Um, so it's it's pretty easy when you're looking at the back. You might need a magnifying glass and good light, but they usually are numbered. So your Linko receive audio, pin number four, will go to pin number six. PTT will go from pin number seven to pin number five. Transmit audio, pin number nine, goes to pin number two. That's all you'll have to do. And uh, we'll show you the wiring here uh, coming up in uh, just a minute. And uh, let me go back to that. 
So uh, we'll, we'll show you the wiring and I'll, I'll edit all that together. But uh, this is really the first actual real video and uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, stick around for a minute. 